Hey everybody, it's Spine Ticks Pressing here and stay tuned. I've got for you four key books that you might want to think about putting on your radar real soon. So every week I like to bring to you four keys, one from an independent publisher, one from DC, one from Marvel, and one FOMO pick that is pretty exciting at the time. So let's get right into it with this week's independent pick, and it comes from Comico, and it goes way back to the early 80s, I think to 1984, and it is Macross number one. And this is the first appearance of Robotech technology in comics, and as hot as manga is right now, and anime, I think this is a great one to put on your radar and go out and find, especially if you take a look at some of these prices. So let's take a look at the ones that I've got out there for you to buy. So here we have Macross number one from 1984 by Comico. This book has a relatively low print run. I will uh, put the print run up here on the screen so you can see. And it's somewhat difficult to find this book in a reasonably good uh, grade. Now the background behind Macross, this is these are sort of like tech warriors. Uh, kind of like Transformers, but it came out in the early 80s after the Transformers cartoons and toys. And there really were no toys of this Robotech uh, Macross. It was just sort of like an anime, uh, very popular series that came out of uh, Japan. And this particular copy is on eBay, and it is being sold by quite unusual Sackville. They have 644 uh, recommendations or reviews and I don't normally recommend books that are in Canada but I think this book for the price which is going to be about $44.28 that's uh, $20 Canadian plus about $14 to ship it uh, from Canada but I think it's well worth the purchase I looked at a number of other copies and um, let's just look at some of the issues you can see that the book is going to need a press because you can see at the top the top edge you can see waviness to the book top right corner looks very nice and very sharp when you run down the length of the book there may be like a little bit of a color rub that's uh, sort of in the middle of the screen on the right like a little white line I'm guessing that probably might come out I also see like a little bit of smudge um, schmutz right below that robot arm uh, right where the point the bottom point is on the robot arm that also may come off the book and the bottom right corner looks uh, pretty solid but you can see that it's curved and it's very much in need of a good press which will uh, bring that corner forward and give the book more of a, a uniform straight look bottom left corner looks great as well and what impressed me most about this book was the spine you can see a number of uh, spine ticks along the spine and i don't believe any of them are color breaking so let's take a look at some of the other images. Here's the book out of the bag. And you can see that larger spine tick. Uh, there's two of them, one by the robot's right arm. It's difficult to tell if that is color breaking or not. Let's take a look at some of the other pictures. Maybe we've, this uh, person did give us some great pictures. It's possible this one right here is color breaking. But um, even at a 9.8, uh, small uh, color breaking ticks are allowable. I believe all of this will come out. Uh, with a press does even this larger one I think uh, with a skilled presser uh, you could get this out there is a noticeable um, spine roll you can see kind of a little crease running along the end but again that's something that that would come out in a press there is a odd indentation right here on the first inside page but uh, inside of the book it looks great uh, the color is very nice and white and vibrant and the interior pages look bright white so just running through the pages, you kind of get a sense if you didn't watch the show. Um, I wonder if I could zoom in on this. I'm a little bit concerned about this staple here, what's going on there. Uh, is, it, um, is there an issue with that staple? That's one that I think I'm probably going to put a note down and uh, contact the seller, see if I can get a, a better view of that staple. But I think overall for the price of this book, picking it up for a total of $45, I think it's a great pickup, and I think this can be a, uh, a book that I would guess is a 9-2 or above. I could be wrong. Don't, don't take my word for that. But I think with a skilled uh, press, 
this book can be right back in tip-top looking shape. So this is the book that I recommend. It is Macross number one. From DC Comics, the book that I think you need to put on your radar right now is Blue Beetle number one. And this is not the first appearance of Jaime Reyes, but it is Jaime Reyes in his own title of as the newest incarnation of Blue Beetle. And with the movie coming out real soon, I think this is a book that's going to heat up very quick. And I think the prices right now are really low. So let's see what we've got. Blue Beetle number one is the next book on the list. Uh, the one I have found and think you should think about purchasing is this one here on eBay, especially if you like signatures. This is by Wa Wa Wo Comics. They have 100% positive feedback with 1,400 sales, and they have what looks to be two copies of Blue Beetle number one. They say they have been unread. Uh, the Image is a little bit difficult to look at, but if you take a look right here, there's this bottom signature. It says Cully. That is the cover artist. And they uh, have a certificate of authenticity saying that this signature right here is the cover artist signing the book. And I think they have Keith Giffen uh, also with a signature right there on top of Jaime Reyes. So this is maybe a book that you might want to think about picking up uh, if you like this character. Signed by um, the writer and the cover artist of the book. And uh, this is one you can send off to CBCS and get those signatures verified. And you might have yourself a very high grade copy. It certainly looks, the, the scan is poor. You can't really see the edges of it. But the book itself looks great. And they're advertising essentially. Um, then down here in their their notes they're saying brand new unread unused book so um and then when i jump back up here let's see if we have anything shop with confidence got the money back guarantee so i i think you can't go wrong with this twenty dollars with uh ten dollars shipping uh they're probably gouging a little bit on the uh the shipping i think uh it's possible that that's uh shipping that's calculating to where i live in texas so it might be less for you but I think this is the one that you should pick up. Um, a signed copy of Blue Beetle number one. It is Blue Beetle Jaime Reyes' uh, first series, uh, but not his first appearance. And a signed copy near mint. I think uh, that's I think that's like maybe a no-brainer. Uh, so for about thirty dollars total, you can take this one home, and I think that's a great price. Uh, really, is a great price for a signed book. The only issue is you're going to need to send it into CBCS rather than CGC because CBCS is the only one that uh, that will verify the signatures for free. And uh, whereas you have to have someone at a CGC witness the signing of the book in order for them to authenticate uh, authenticate the book. So uh, there you go. Take a look at this one. Um, I've got the link in the description of this video. And there's two copies. Maybe pick them both up. So from Marvel Comics, the book that I've selected is Infamous Iron Man number one. And this is the first appearance of Tony Stark in an um, augmented reality and artificial intelligence form. And I think we're going to see Robert Downey Jr. in the MCU sooner in this form, in this iteration, than we do... Uh, see a multiverse Iron Man. So I think this book is a great one to pick up. I don't think you can go wrong. And let's take a look at the ones that we've got out there for people to pick up. Infamous Iron Man number one. Here is the cover print. I found a beautiful copy on Mercari. $17. They've already discounted it down a dollar. But remember, Mercari is fantastic. Uh, you just throw out your price that you want by hitting this make an offer button. And generally, I found that you get what you, you know, if you're asking for a reasonable amount, you get uh, you get accepted for your offers. So a four dollars thirty cents delivery. Uh, this particular one is being sold by Mr. E. Uh, they've got 194 views, all five stars, and some great, um, you know, the fast responder, fast shipper, reliable, and shipping from Illinois. So this is the first appearance of Tony Stark as an AI. 
And let's see if we can look at it. I've looked at this cover and I really can't see any flaws in it. I just can't see any defects. I'm not saying that there aren't any, but staples look beautiful. Bottom edge looks great. Not sure. There might be something here. This is the only thing that I could really find. This little white spot at the bottom. And uh, all in all, this one looks pretty solid. Here's the back of the book. Let's see if we can zoom in. I don't see any major flaws. It definitely, need, you, got, you got like a little bit of a curve that you can see. So there's some waviness in the book. It needs to be pressed. Probably needs to be cleaned as well. But I don't see any issues. I don't see any crushed corners. Corners look great. Edges look great. Uh, I don't see any issues in the center of the book. So I think this is a hell of a good steal for you. I don't think you can go wrong with this price. I think we are going to see Tony Stark return or Robert Downey Jr. return probably in Iron Wars. Uh, because now they're going to make it a movie. He's asking for $80 million, And I'm sure he's probably going to get it from the MCU people. And we're going to see an AI version of Tony Stark helping, well, helping uh, Ironheart or uh, Riri Williams and uh, helping um, some of his friends in the MCU. So I think I would get out there if I were you and I would pick this one up for eh, just a little bit over $20. Um, and I think this is a book that's going to go up in value that uh, it's going to be a good one for you. All right, this week's FOMO pick is Legends number one. It is the first appearance of Amanda Waller. I think this is an interesting book. She definitely appears to be an important character uh, going forward with James Gunn's DC Universe. Uh, he seems to be wanting to revolve all the future upcoming shows and movies around the Amanda Waller character. So. If you don't have this book yet, I really think maybe picking up Legends number one is worth taking a look. So let's see what's out there. Well, it looks like Amanda Waller is going to be a key part of James Gunn's ongoing DC extended universe. And here's a copy of her first appearance. It's Legends, DC Comics Legend, Legends number one. And uh, this one's $10. It's got $5 for delivery. I think this is a great pickup. Sunshine Valley is the seller. They've got 242 reviews. They're shipping from New Jersey. When I take a look at this book, and again, you know, you want to try to make your money on the buy. That's where uh, you really can score things. And I don't think you're losing a whole lot of money on this particular book. Um, you know, 10 bucks is really, really a pretty inexpensive amount of money to pay for a book, um, I think, with a character as important as Amanda Waller is to the, the uh, DC universe. I do see something right here, and um, I do think this is probably part of the, the background image, but I don't see any flaws really in this book. Corner looks solid, no folding. It needs a press. You've got you know this natural fold over, but it doesn't look like there was uh, too much reading of this book. Uh, a little bit of a white line here and maybe a little bit of corner corner crush here but it doesn't look terribly uh, color breaking and you can see there's like a little um, a little finger indentation there all those flaws will come out uh, with a good press and they have give us more images and it's just kind of more of the same uh, the back side of the book uh, I do see this kind of a crushed corner and I think that can be cleaned up. I'm not sure what's going on right here. Let's see if we can see in some of our other pictures. But for this particular book, this FOMO book, uh, I've, uh, I've, I feel this is a pretty affordable book to get in on. And I think you can't go wrong with this particular one at this price. I do think these flaws, uh, they will clean up with a good, uh, you know, if you have someone clean this or if you watch a few videos and you, you do it yourself, uh, something as simple as a white eraser and um, some um, facial cleaning pads. Uh, you really don't need a whole lot to clean a book. Uh, it's really, uh, those two things could go, can go a long way. And it, it is very helpful when you have a uh, background like this that is white. Uh, it's much, I think it's much easier to clean, but I think it does need a press and uh, and a clean and i think you might have yourself a uh, a great book for a really great price i sure hope you like this week's report 
Let me know in the comments below if there's any books that you think you would like me to focus on and uh, go out there and see if I can find some good deals for you. And also let me know in the comments below what you thought about this list, this list of four hot books to pick up uh, right now. So thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys out there in this great hobby and this community. And you know what? Thanks for tuning in. Take a look at some of my other content that I've got right here. And as always, happy hunting.